system and brings home security. Call now. Body language segment tonight. Three outstanding confrontations. We begin with Diane Sawyer and Nancy Pelosi. The Economist said that you are arguably the most powerful woman in American history. A Brown University professor has said you are certainly the most powerful speaker in 100 years. That sounds good. <laughs> I, don't, I don't take it personally, except I take it as a compliment for all women, uh, because as the first woman speaker, I certainly wanted to demonstrate that we could get a job done that has eluded others for a, for a century. Now, I'm not buying that for a minute. You know, because when you, uh, Sawyer said, uh, well, uh, you are the most powerful one, you can see her beam, couldn't you not? Well, you know what was interesting is her mouth pulled tight across in this kind of wry smile, and the eyes are big. So there's like, see this? Yeah, there this it is. This nervous, skeptical grin, almost as if she doesn't believe it herself. But she looks pleased yeah, yeah. with it. Does she not look pleased with it? She does look pleased, but it's not an upward grin. So see how the mouth really pulls across I don't think it up? can pull, with all due respect. <laughs> Uh, and I'm not being mean. I am not being snide. No, because I, watch I here. I do not think she physically can pull it. In this, right about two seconds ago, she did. The, the lip went upward and the eyebrows went down. That's when you see true happiness, when the eyebrows come true down happiness. a little bit. So here, yeah, so in the beginning, it was more like almost self-doubt. The smile was tight. There was no teeth. As she gets into it, see there, yeah, that pulled, and there's no eyebrow movement. So mm. there's not real joy Are there. Are you buying the fact that she takes it as a compliment for all women? I think that she... No, that I, I, is okay. not necessarily the case. Okay. I think that she was Thank beaming. You. Thank but, you. Yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> I, thank point. you. All thank right. you, Miss Tanya. Okay. She's beaming because Sawyer is telling her things that she likes to hear. I don't think anything to do with all women. No, no. I, but you know what? There was some kind of self doubt there in that early clip. Like that she couldn't believe Sawyer was yes, actually right. giving her that much of a softball. That kind of a compliment. That was, you yeah. know, oh, yes. Okay. Um, Barack Obama, Brett Baer, everybody was talking about it, and uh, we wanted to ask Ms. Tanya to analyze the most contentious moments, of course. Roll the tape. They're going to have a better situation when it comes to if they lose their job, heaven forbid, or somebody gets sick with a pre-existing condition, they'll have more security. So how but can so, you, so this, so the notion, you guarantee so, that they're not going to, they're going to be able me, to keep their doctor? Brad, you gotta, let me finish my answers. But sir, they, I, I know you don't like the filibuster. No, I, but it, well, I'm trying to answer your questions, and, and you keep on interrupting. So, so let me let me be clear. Hand. Yes. The hand. What is the hand? Okay. So this starts off, you know, we talked about this when we're saying, hey, give him my, t my chance to talk, right. my opportunity. Well, what he's trying to do here is he's trying to lighten that. So he's trying to not be so defiant and give a full palm. Uh, but at not the a same, full palm, but that but hand went way out. It went because, way out. You know, this is one of his trademarks. What does he do? He kind of tries to extend outward to you to bring you into his world. He does it constantly. So he was trying so to bring Brett into his world. What he was trying world. to do was shut Brett up, <laughs> but do it so it didn't come across as aggressive. Okay. Now, Brett's posture, I, I want to take a look at Brett's posture. He moving his hand and his head tilts to the left. Yes, but now look at Brett's hands, how, how much lower they are. So he has his palms up. Yes. So he's recognizing the office, so to speak. So the, the higher hand means more power? Well, he his palms were open. Yeah, as Brett's opposed palms. To, right, as opposed, uh, as opposed to Obama's, who was down at certain points. What does that mean? The, the, the down hand palm is more aggressive, more authoritarian. He was, Obama was trying to make his point, whereas Brett Baer was trying to underscore the fact that he was trying to get a question out without coming across as rude So, so Brett's, Brett's body language was humble, you're telling me. It was. Some parts of his nonverbals were humble. And the thing I like is that the lower part didn't move. The lower half of his body stayed nice and steady. Well, that's because he was glued to the chair. Yeah, they you both were. They both did really well. <laughs> but yeah, there was no there was no forward lean from Brett Baer, uh -huh. which of course All right, also last question demonstrates... On this. Is the president teed off? Yes, he is. The brows are low. You can see that he's annoyed. And at certain points, he does gaze cut off or gaze avoidance, which he looks Gaze down. avoidance. Yes, that's kind of when you're trying to tell someone, it's my that's turn to talk. That's G-A-Z-E, not G-A-Y-S. -A that's right. G-A-Z-E. Gaze, gaze avoidance. Avoid so what you do is you cut your <laughs> eyes off so that the other person stops talking. Yeah. So, like, if you don't start talking, I'll slap yes, you. Yes, right. And the, and the hand was way yes, out there. Yes, definitely okay. out there. Okay. Um, now, Miss Tanya caused uh, a little bit of a ruckus. There she did. She did it. Uh, when she talked about Mitt Romney being on The View with Joy Behar. Now, after that, <clears throat> on The Factor, that conversation, The View actually took it up. So we have both clips together. Roll it. Joy Behar, when she starts talking about him being a hunk, her leg starts to really shake. 
Okay. Yeah, what so, does that mean? Well, it, it's this, you know, arousal, so to speak. Whoa. Not necessarily, mm, let me clarify okay. that. Pull back. Yeah, pull back. Not okay. necessarily sexual arousal, it's just an arousal. Okay, can we correct a few things there? Sure. <laughs> Play it again. He said, "Now he says that I'm have uh, arousal. Yeah. First of all, I have liberal, restless liberal sy leg syndrome. <laughs> it's not. I'm not aroused by him. As a matter of fact, if you go a little bit further, it looks he good. looks like he is putting his arm around me. Now, what did you think? Obviously, I did not do a good enough job of defining arousal. Arousal being a change of physiological state. There's a couple of things. Number one, when I've spoken about Joy Behar before, I've always said that she fidgets a lot. So we know this. So when we baseline so her... So she's a fidget. So she does have the liberal uh, leg syndrome or whatever she said. Well, I know that she moves around a lot. Right. So we never take that into consideration and move, use it against her because I just like certain people move sure. around. Yeah, so, so with this, though, my point was that when... She, when he leaned towards her and when she said he was a hunk, the foot went up and down. That was the only point. That so that's it. a and change. And that connoted some kind state. of activity. That's right. That we really don't want to know more about. Yes, not necessarily <laughs> sexual. <laughs> All right, Tanya Ryman causing trouble, everybody. When we come right back, Dennis Miller with many, many things to tell us. Can you stand it?